Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Dabro. Today we're actually taking a break from the family recipe. I just celebrated my 26th birthday. So old. And I wanted to show you guys what kind of food we had. It's all my favorite food. We made roasted chicken legs and something that I call a cob salad, but it's not a cob salad. It's based off of a cob salad. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna stop talking because this video is pretty long. It's on the longer side, so yeah. I'm gonna get right into it. Okay, so first we are making literally the best ranch ever. I've showed you guys how to make this before, but I think we tripled the recipe. So I don't know, I wanted to show it to you guys again. <laughs> Anyways, what we'll need is a medium large bowl, one and a half cups of mayonnaise, one and a half cups of sour cream, one and a half cups of whole milk, one tablespoon dried dill weed. I always had a little extra, but that was a lot of dill weed. That was an accident. <laughs> one and a half teaspoons dried parsley, one and a half teaspoons dried chives, three fourths a teaspoon onion powder, one and a half teaspoons garlic powder, three fourths a teaspoon salt, some pepper, and three tablespoons of vinegar. Then we whisked all that up, covered it, and let it marinate in the fridge for a couple of days. Next, we are going to make our own croutons. So to get started on that, we are taking a nice super fat loaf of French bread. I'm pretty sure we usually use sourdough, but either way, it just has to be fat. So we're taking that loaf and we're removing all the crust from that. We used to literally shave the crust off, but cutting is much easier. Just be careful not to cut too deep because then you're wasting good bread meat. Once all the crust is gone, we are cutting that up into larger crouton pieces. Then we laid all the croutons out on a cookie sheet overnight so the croutons could dry out and become kind of crispy on the outside because this loaf was pretty squishy and definitely needed some time to firm up. So to make the seasoning, I guess, of the croutons, it's a weird process, but that's how it says to do it in the recipe. So we are taking a medium small bowl and a strainer sifter thing. We added two peeled fresh garlic cloves to that strainer. Then in that medium small bowl, we're adding three tablespoons of olive oil, a half a teaspoon seasoned salt, and some pepper. And then we're taking that strainer and we're placing that into the olive oil and we start mashing that up with a spoon, like the back of the spoon. Not till it becomes like paste or anything, but mashed up enough where you can still smell the garlic. Once those garlic cloves were mashed up, we are mixing up that olive oil mixture and then tossing three cups of those croutons until every single crouton has some olive oil on it. Then we laid those out onto a foil covered cookie sheet and we let those sit off to the side while the oven heated up to 315 degrees. And we still had a little bit more than three cups left of those croutons. So we just made another olive oil garlic mixture, tossed in the rest of the croutons, laid them out on another cookie sheet and put them in the oven for, I don't know, I think keep them in there for three minutes, check on them, see what they look like. We don't want them to start really browning yet. We just want a crispy outside. We definitely left our in for way too long but yeah you just want them to get crispy on the outside because we are brushing those with unsalted butter and we want that to seep in to the middle so when you eat them it'll have this crunchy nice outside and a melt in your mouth like texture on the inside it's hard to get them to not brown <laughs> super fast. But also, before we pop those back into the oven, we are dusting those with the super, super finely grated powdered Parmesan cheese. And we let those cook for maybe five minutes. Keep an eye on them. I usually like mine to look like this guy or this guy, so. <laughs> so yeah, once those are done, we let them completely cool, and then we set them aside in some Tupperware. Just so you guys know, we didn't do the ranch and the croutons on the same day. The ranch was done, like, a week ahead before we actually ate the food and the croutons were done three or four days before we, again, actually ate everything. But yeah, next we're taking one whole package of bacon and we are putting that in the freezer. It'll make sense in a minute. Moving on to the chopping portion of things. We are rough chopping a whole thing of romaine lettuce. This is also really good with iceberg lettuce. Uh. 
Then we took this fully cooked ham chunk slab. I don't know. This is like two pounds of ham. It's a lot. But we are cutting that up into super thick slices and then into the cubes. A while ago when I made this salad, I bought a ham steak, but ham steaks are actually pretty thin. They're large but thin. And the whole thing for me is I want a big fat chunk of meat. So that's why we got that big fat ham. <laughs> Next, we are taking one whole bunch of green onions and we are finely chopping those up. Going back into the freezer, the bacon had been in there maybe a half an hour or more. And the reason why we did this is because we are cutting up that bacon into super tiny pieces so we can get bits. Cutting bacon when it's not frozen a little bit is a nightmare. I'm being dramatic. <laughs> it's not fun. It slips around and it's a bother. So if you freeze it a little bit, you can grab it, cut it, and it doesn't slip around and be annoying. Anyways, we are cutting up that whole package of bacon into tiny little bits. Okay, so chopping stuff is done for now. We're gonna cook up all those little bacon pieces and that actually took a good while. So while that bacon was cooking, we started on hard boiling 10 eggs. And once both of those things are done, we need those to cool off completely. So we set those to the side. while those are cooling, we are going to start on, I don't know if I would call it a coating, I guess you would call it a coating, of the chicken drumsticks. So we melted one and a half sticks of salted butter, like completely melted, and we added some salt. This isn't like a measuring situation, it's more of like a when I say so situation, I guess. So we added some salt, a lot, a lot of onion powder, a lot of garlic powder, some pepper and a couple glops of buffalo sauce. Mix that up and then waited for that to solidify into an applesauce-like texture. I don't know why, ours took a good while to just solidify, but in the meantime, you can peel your hard-boiled eggs just to get that over with. <laughs> okay, now quickly preheating that oven to 425 degrees. Then we started to completely coat each and every drumstick, as well as getting it underneath the skin as much as possible because yum. And then lining them up on a cooling rack that is inside of a roasting pan. And we are cooking those for 15 minutes, flipping them and rotating them. cooking them for another 25 minutes, and then brushing them with the excess butter mix that we made, melted it down, and brushed it over the top. And then we changed the temperature to a low broil and cooked them for just a couple more minutes to get it extra crispy. Yeah, they turned out good. And lastly, we cut those hard boiled eggs in half and shredded up. I'm pretty sure it was a 16 ounce block of cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese. And yeah, everything is ready to be plated up. First, we took a big pile of lettuce, added some alfalfa sprouts, completely covered that in sharp cheddar cheese, added in ham chunks. <laughs> as well as some hard-boiled eggs, our homemade croutons, and some green onion. Then added our chicken legs, completely drowned everything in our homemade ranch, and topped it off with some bacon bits and then added some pineapple on the side. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. That's what I did for my birthday. That's what we had to eat for my birthday. If you guys end up buying any of these recipes out, let me know what you think of them. Let me know if you like them. I'll see you guys very soon. We are finishing up the appetizers of family recipes and then we're on to main dishes. Um, I think that is about it. I'll see you guys very soon. I love you guys so much. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.